Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos of organic reagents. In our this lecture, we will study about dicyclohexyl carbonamide. If you want to see more of the videos of organic reagents, you can go to our playlist of organic reagents and where you can find several other reagents. Okay. So see here, dicyclohexyl carbonamide. It is generally known as DCC. Okay. And its formula is C6H11N double bond C double bond N C6H11. Okay. In short, we abbreviate it as DCC. Okay. So first of all, see its preparation, how it is prepared. First of all, it can be prepared by the oxidation of N and S dicyclohexyl thiourea with mercuric oxide. If we add to this N and S dicyclohexyl thiourea, if we add mercuric oxide, then we are getting DCC. Okay, so how this reaction will proceed? C6H11 NH C double bond S NH C6H11. Okay, it is oxidized with Hg2O. Then we are getting C6H11 N double bond C double bond N C6H11. This is TCC. Okay. And we are getting Hg2S plus H2O. Okay. This is its preparation. Okay. Secondly, it can be prepared by the dehydration of dicyclohexyl urea with the paratoluene sulfonyl chloride. It means C6H11 NH C double bond O NH C6H11. This is dicyclohexyl urea and it is treated with paratoluene sulfonyl chloride in the presence of pyridine. So what will happen? Dehydration will proceed and we are getting C6H11 and double bond C double bond N C6H11 plus H2O. Okay. So these are the two methods by which DCC can be prepared. Now, what is its function? How we will use this reagent? So, see here, what is its applications or what is its uses? Actually, the main use of DCC is, it is used as a dehydrating agent. Wherever you will see it, it is acting as dehydrating agent. We can use several other reagents like P2O5, like H2SO4, but it is a good dehydrating agent because it provides the dehydration in the mild conditions so we use we prefer dcc so we can use it for the dehydration of esters it can be used as a dehydrating agents for the esters for ethers for anhydrides for amides for lactones for lactams and for peptides several other compounds are there that can be dehydrated with the help of DCC. First of all, see for the ester. Esterification. You know esterification? Acids and alcohols react together to form ester. Okay, and this reaction can be done very easily with the help of DCC. RCOOH. Okay, this is acid and R dash OH. This is, H, this is alcohol and we can react them in the presence of DCC so that they can form RCOOR dash plus we are getting C6H11 NHCO NHC6H11 it means dicyclohexyl urea so how the mechanism proceeds for this reaction see its mechanism actually in the CSI night exam you does not need the mechanism you should know where the any reagent is being used okay but for your convenience if you are studying in BSc or in other exams, then you can use this reaction mechanism. Okay. So actually what happens? See here, this is the acid RCOOH plus this is C6H11 and double bond C, double bond N, C6H11, DCC. Okay. When these are present, 
simultaneously then there will exist an equilibrium of this kind this will abstract the proton from the acid okay and it will form nh c6h11 double bond c double bond n c6h11 okay there will be a positive charge now this nucleophile will attack here okay so that this bond will go like this okay so what we are getting we are getting r c double bond o o and here a new bond is formed c nh c6 h11 and double bond n c6 h11 in the presence of a proton okay when the proton is present here then it get converted to r c double bond o o c n h c6 h11 double bond n h c6 h11 there will be positive charge now this is being attacked by the alcohol in the next step so see here how the reaction is happening this is alcohol and there are lone pair of electrons okay and this is the intermediate that is being formed here now this lone pair of electron will attack here this is electrophilic carbon okay and this bond will go like this so a new bond is formed okay we can represent it like r s okay so r s o h c o minus r here will be positive charge now this bond will break down okay this charge will go here this bond will break down so that here will the double bond okay and this will move like this okay so a proton is removed okay and we are getting r s o c double bond o r plus we are getting c double bond o nh c6 h11 nh c6 h11 okay so in this way ester is formed with the help of dcc it means dcc acting as a dehydrating agent it is abstracting the water molecule from the bond formation of the roh and rcoh okay similarly dcc can be used in the preparations of amides actually amides are formed by the reaction of acids with the amines okay but their formation is not so much easy this is the formation of amide but it is not so easy actually if we use this reaction in the presence of dcc then the reaction happens at the room temperature and a good yield of the product we get so actually what happens the reaction proceeds in this manner rcoh plus r dash nh2 plus c6 h11 and double bond c double bond n c6 h11 this is dcc okay and we are getting rco nh r dash plus rcoh plus we are getting c6 h11 nh c double bond o nh c6 h11 okay if you want to see its mechanism how this reaction is happening so see here how this mechanism is proceeding see here r c double bond o o minus this is our acid it is attacking here r c double bond o o c double bond nh plus c6 h11 that we have seen in our previous mechanism this is from the same step okay so this is moving here okay this bond is moving here okay and this bond is moving here same step okay so we are not repeating it again and again so we are getting r c double bond o o c double bond o r plus we are getting 
C6H11NH C double bond O NH C6H11 okay now this is the ester that is formed here okay this ester RCO RCO hold twice O it reacting with the amines and we are getting RCO NH R dash plus RCOOH. Okay, in this way, amide is formed. Similarly, if we have to prepare ethers, then we can use DCC. We will take a mixture of phenol plus alcohol plus the reagent and we do a prolonged heating. Okay, as a result, we are getting the ethers. For example, C6H5OH plus C2H5OH plus C6H11 N double bond C double bond N C6 H11 and we heat it under pressure for a long time. So we are getting C6 H5 O C2 H5 plus C6 H11 NH C double bond O NH C6 H11. All right. Similarly, we can prepare acid and hydride with the help of DCC. For this, we take the acid and we take DCC. Okay. And we are getting RCO whole twice O plus C6H11 NH CO NH C6H11. Okay. This is the acid and hydride that is formed. Similarly, it can be used for the preparation of diacyl peroxide. For this, we need the acid and we need the hydrogen peroxide. Okay. And we take DCC. And we get RCOOCOR plus DCC. Okay. This is the diacyl peroxide that is formed. Similarly, we can use DCC for the preparation of lactones. Actually, for lactonization, we use acetic anhydride in pyridine. But that is not a better reagent. We can use DCC in the pyridine and then we can form gamma hydroxy acids. For example, see here. If this is treated with DCC in the pyridine, then it undergoes lactonization. Okay, in this way, the gamma hydroxy acid is formed. This OH group and this COOH group are reacting and the ring of lactone is being formed. So, these are some of the applications of the DCC as the reagent. It is used in several name reactions. Okay, so whenever you have given DCC, then you should understand that it is being used as a dehydrating agent. You will have to remove the water and you will have to form a new product. Okay, so you can try some more reactions based on the DCC. You will get more reactions if you are seeing the book Caruthers. Okay, SN Sanyal, several other books you can see and you can find different applications. And meet you in the next video with some more organic name reactions, with some more organic reagents. And if you want some more topics, then you can also comment me. Okay. And if you are liking these videos, please share it with the more students so that they can get benefits of these videos. Okay. And in this way, you can support me. Okay. Please like the videos. Please comment and please subscribe the channel. Thank you.